inconsistency in the toasting process you know who is going to do what you are saying baby girl i bought you this <laughs> hey besties welcome back to the channel this is still me your one and only best girl brume otega and today 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 i am back with another video in today's video no before i go into what today's video is about which you already know from the title if you are not subscribed to this youtube channel if you are not subscribed there is where it is written subscribe anywhere i see subscribe click on it click on that subscribe button so you'll be the first to get notified whenever i post a new video and if you are an old subscriber thank you so much for staying loyal to the brand i really appreciate all your love and your support we are over 200 subscribers you guys let's get to 300 subscribers before the month comes to an end so without further ado let's step right into the video so in today's video i'm going to be talking about my red flags in may i think everybody knows what red flag means to me red flag actually means a warning sign or a danger sign that sign that's going to tell you no don't go there don't go there for my first red flag is oversharing you see those people eh that will go on a first date like we are getting to know each other you're already telling me about your grandmother that's in the village yes i know you are family or oh, don't tell me everything you can't tell me about yourself in one day to me when people overshare it feels like you're you're already giving me too much information about yourself and i'm already working in line with that information that you have already given me oversharing is not a bad thing for some people they love it but personally for me i don't enjoy people oversharing on a first date i enjoy interesting conversation you can gist with me we can talk we can talk about a lot of things but i believe that it should have boundaries like not enjoy oversharing on a first date is a big red flag for me and an absolute no no my second red flag is being too sexual i'm getting to know you and you're already telling me i want to do this i want to do that we are going to do this you know who is going to do what you want i'm not doing anything with you I i'm not interested Tested. Communicating things that are really sexual on the first date or when we are trying to get get to know each other, I feel like that's the only thing you're concerned about in trying to get him to know me. Like you're just about the sexual part. You don't want to know who I am. You don't want to know about my visions. You don't want to know about the plans I have for my life. You don't want to know about where i stand right now in life there are so many other things to talk about we can talk about business we can talk about god we can talk about so many other things in fact some people they are already telling you they are already practicing styles with who I, I i'm not going to do that with you you're wasting your time so let's move on to the next one inconsistency in the toasting process <laughs> my next point is inconsistency inconsistency in communication consistency in your actions towards me i'm not saying you should call me like somebody that does not have other things to do no but notwithstanding at least show that you are interested no matter how busy a person is he truly has time for something or someone that he loves or someone that he's trying to get so if he's interested in me or truly likes me as he says it will show in his words and his actions okay he's always calling me to know how i'm doing he's always calling me and saying baby girl i bought you this let's do this let's have fun together you see someone that truly really loves you would always want to be around you always want to hear from you and would always be consistent so it's a big red flag for me when someone who says he's interested in me is inconsistent even if i am an introvert i do not know how to start up interesting conversations or i do not know how to keep conversations up for a very long time i enjoy the attention of people talking to me trying to get to know me or trying to be around like so as an introvert inconsistency in your toasting process is a big red flag for me so my next red flag for me is not having your goals or your priorities in life set straight if you do not have your own life set straight or put together tell me how in god's name you want to bring in a whole human being into your own life 
tell me make, make it make sense i don't understand based on my own level of understanding and what i have learned and acquired from life there are certain levels of vision and goals that i accept and i would accept from a man that wants to come into my life you guys you know those kind of men that when you meet them and they talk about their goals or their vision long term specifically for their life it's automatically like it um, challenges you to want to do more for yourself or want to do better for yourself i'm not talking about those guys that will just come and want to start boboing you they'll use their mouth to buy private jets for you or they'll use their mouth to buy the biggest property in lekki for you i'm not talking about those guys i'm talking about the ones that have long-term goals that will challenge you and those long-term goals you see that over time they are working on a daily basis to achieve those long-term goals they are not just sitting down or lazing about or waiting for one miracle to happen for their long-term goals to be achieved so that's like a big red flag for not having a long-term goal my next big red flag is not being kind when i'm talking about not being kind here i'm not just talking about me i'm not just talking about me that you are trying to you know win over no i'm talking about people that do not actually have anything to offer to you my biggest and biggest of all red flags for me is when i ask you i don't know the point i don't know how to put this one when i ask you how's your relationship with god like like you know do you understand i start telling ah it's just tender like you just speak casually about it is a no no for me big capital letter no because i am a jesus baby i live for the lord so i honestly can date someone who does not have a stable or a good relationship with god honestly it's a big fat no for me so that's it guys for my red flags if i'm trying to get to know you i'm getting into a relationship with anybody and if you enjoy this video do well to click on the subscribe button also thank you so much for staying loyal to the brand and i still remain your best and humble girl brume otega so stay subscribed for more amazing and more premium content i love you guys so much see you in my next video bye guys